back now with news of a price squeeze. Florida's citrus industry is in trouble. The state is the leading orange producer in the country, but its crop crisis means you may be paying more for your juice. Here's Carrie Sanders with more. Orange juice from Florida. A day without orange juice is like a day without sunshine. Still a popular morning routine. But the $9 billion industry synonymous with the Sunshine State is in serious jeopardy. A disease called citrus greening is ruining the fruit and killing the trees. Growers like Adam Birchinall discovering... This grove's dead. Yep, yep, pretty much sick and dying more and more. The grove his grandfather planted, CB Citrus, 319 acres near Tampa, is now mostly a ghost grove. You know, you put so much effort, so much love and money into something and it still just dies and withers away. It's, it's hard to not be pessimistic. For more than a decade, scientists trying to stop a disease that is the leading reason Florida's citrus industry saw a 70% drop in orange production over the last 15 years. The problem begins with a tiny bug called an Asian citrus psyllid. When the psyllids feed on the citrus plants, the bacteria gets injected into the tree and then it moves uh, through the vascular system. Once that bacteria reaches a tree's roots, it's game over. And growers say replanting their groves with newly developed disease-resistant trees is too costly a solution. It's harvest season in Florida, so when you shake a tree, some of the fruit naturally just drops off. But growers say because of the disease, the fruit that drops is as soft as fresh baked bread. The infected trees bear fruit that in some cases has 50% less juice, causing Florida orange juice prices to jump almost 19% in just the last year. And why more and more packing houses now sit idle. Citrus greening now claiming another victim as Adam gives up on his grandfather's dream. In Florida, where citrus was once king, for some, green is now the new orange. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Odessa, Florida.